welcome to A Breath of Fresh Air. My name is Rush and today we're going to be making Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. You'll be needing the following ingredients for this. You'll be needing about two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, a dash of salt as well as a dash of black peppercorn. Um, you'll be needing two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and if you wanted to add a little kick to your meal, some crushed red pepper. You'll need thinly sliced steak as well as three green bell peppers, about six slices of provolone cheese, one diced up yellow onion, eight ounces of cut up mushrooms, two teaspoons of minced garlic, and one red bell pepper cut up. Um, it's a very short list and it takes about 10 minutes to prep for all of this and 10 minutes to cook it, so let's get started. So in order to make this dish, you're going to need four items a baking dish, a skillet, a pot, and an oven preheated to 400 degrees. So we're going to start by boiling four cups of water in the pot that I showed you earlier. And while that's boiling, I'm going to spray down this baking dish with Pam, set it to the side, and continue on by cutting up three of the green bell peppers I showed you before and gutting them as well. Once I'm done gutting it, what I'm going to do is place two at a time in the pot um, for about two to four minutes. So after the two to four minutes, we are going to take out the pepper and place them side down on paper towels to remove the excess water. And while that's sitting there, um, I'm going to move on to the skillet and I'm going to put two teaspoons of olive oil, as mentioned earlier, in there. We're going to let it get hot, and then we're going to start cooking the steak. The oil is finally hot, so I'm going to throw the vegetables in there, which are as follows. Onions, mushrooms, and the red bell pepper and the garlic. And do not forget the salt and the black pepper part. I'm gonna top it off. All right. It's gonna start up a little bit. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa, it just what happened here? It just grew out of the blue. Anyway, this is this perfect size for all the vegetables that we're supposed to be using. So, um, we're gonna let it saute for about two to four minutes as well uh, before we put in the steak. So we're just gonna simmer this out for now. So now that it's been about two to four minutes, I'm going to add the thinly sliced steak. Throw it in there and I'm going to um, let it cook also for an additional two, two to three minutes. It needs to stay medium rare because we're going to put it into the oven um, straight away. Um, while you're cooking this, do not forget to put the Worcestershire sauce. Um, and two teaspoons, as noted earlier. Stir it up a little bit. So while this has been cooking, what I've done is on the side, I've uh, set up the green bell peppers on the baking dish that I had previously uh, put some Pam on. Uh, so what I'm doing is, I had said that we would need about six slices of provolone cheese, so I set up the green bell peppers and then cut the provolone cheese strips into halves, and then I put half into each. So when after I do this, I'm going to start setting this up. The way to do it is you just pour a little bit inside. Um, I should probably use a spoon. This is getting messy. Okay. Use a spoon. 
popcorn in there like that. Remember, when you're cooking the steak, make sure it's medium rare because you're also going to throw it in the oven for a few minutes. So you don't want to overcook the steak. Now that I've fully stuffed all the peppers to the brim, I'm going to top it off by adding the remainder of the half provolone cheese slices at the very top, like so. Okay, if you want to put some extra. I'm, I'm a huge cheese lover, so the more the merrier. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Whoops, I don't have enough for the last two, but anyway, I'm gonna throw them in the oven for about 10 minutes. wait for the final results. So it's been about 10 minutes, so let's check out the results. Mmm, this is looking really good. go. That is a Philly cheese steak stuffed pepper. And it's healthy too. So. Wait a few seconds. Oh. Can we start <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll... Okay, okay, Wait. sorry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it become so complicated? I'm so like... sorry. Hi, and welcome to my... <laughs> sorry, what am I supposed to say? Hi, welcome to... Oh, my bad. Ready? Oh. You'll be needing about two teaspoons. I wasn't done counting. Oh. I was like, two. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? You didn't do a countdown. You stopped. You look, how are you going to see a countdown when you're I looking away? I have great peripherals, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, in order to. Was that six seconds? <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't even at five yet. You're turning around. Like... All right. Oh, my baby. This is my name. We're gonna start off by boiling four cups of hot water. Oh, yeah. So the oil is finally hot, so I'm gonna throw the veggies in there, which are as follows. Do you want me to continue? You kind of messed up my I just got 